Bruce, of course, is our last show, which was the reason for that inexcusable delay. And will one of our players today be willing to show down dice looking for $10,000 in cash? Last time, let's see who will win. First of all, we we'll come back down. Warfield, our returning champion. Down a lot of money the first time around. I don't have a total right now because all the people were in the audience clapping. And we were... <laughs> okay, there it comes up. $775. And uh, now, what, uh, what, what are some of the hobbies you have? Well, my main problem right now is I have two cats, a Persian and an alley cat, and they fight all the time. They uh, fight? Yep. For a year. It's difficult, it's difficult to live with fighting roommates. Good luck. Yeah, we hope you get enough money to buy a big dog to calm them down. <laughs> and Leah, tell us something about yourself. Please. Hi, I'm Leah Lane. I'm a contributing editor to a magazine, and I'm married and have two sons, Rand and Carrie. Good luck to you today, Thank Leah. You. And they're up there, as a matter of fact. <laughs> And John, what do we know about you? Oh, my name is John Welsh. I'm a sound engineer. I'm married, and I'm interested in handwriting analysis. Fascinating. Good luck to all of you. And your first payoff point today is 11, and pay who gets their first wins money. The first, which appears down here in the money dial. The dial range is $25 to the top cash value of $500. And you get to 11 points by answering questions in these categories. If the board comes around, let's take a look at them for the first half of the game. For one point, animals. For two points, dollar slang. I believe, for three points, hemming it up for four points by Richard Rogers. The fifth buyer's category is last names beginning with B, and for six points, we've got 20th century fiction. Now, the two high point scores of the day will advance into the final showdown round. You know the winner there gets to roll the dice looking for $10,000 in cash. Here is your first toss-up question. It is worth one point. It gives you the right to select the first category. Incidentally, I was fooling around that. That's simply a slang. Okay, let's see what that 11 point is worth. Question. What word will complete this quotation? Ready? To the victory belong John. The spoil. He is right. For one point, John, on your way to 11 and $500 payoff. Please select. Uh, let's try Richard Rogers for four. According to the 1937 Rogers and Hart song title, what's the name of the man who could only sing one note? Johnny. Johnny. He is right. For four points, up to five. Please select. Away from the payoff point, John. Let's go for the point with 20th century fiction, please. Okay, if you hit this one, it's worth $500. Leah and Don hands on the buzzers. Which insect completes the title of Nathaniel West's recently? John. David Locust. He is right for 11 points. Oh! Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. John is picked off the lead with 11 points. That's a $500 payoff point to his credit, and we will be right back. Come back to the big showdown. We're looking for the two high point scores today. And first, one of those players a little later will be rolling the dice, looking for ten thousand dollars in cash. Right now, John has all the points, and twenty, and it will be worth it. The money dial. Let's see this time. Twenty-five dollars. Here's the toss-up question. What is the only letter to appear once in the name of the Florida city of Miami? John. M. Nope. Leah. A. A is right, yes. Two of everything else. Leah, one point, please select. Okay, I'll take 20th century fiction, please. Four, six points. Name the American author whose popular works include her novels Giant and Showboat. John. Edna Ferber. That's right, for six points. You are now at 17, John. Three points away from this payoff. Well, let's go for the money you're handing it up, please. All answers incidentally contain the word ham. A terrible thing to do to somebody in his last day. In area. In area, what is the third largest New England state? New Hampshire. New Hampshire is right. 20 points. $25. A little more money for you. And we continue with another payoff point, which is 28. And this one will be worth $100. That's nice. Which of our five senses is affected by the science of optics? John. Sight. Sight is right. And you are a fast buzzer. 21 going to 28, please. Select. Uh, Richard Rogers for four, please. Okay. Complete the title of this Rogers and Hart ballad from Pal Joey. If they ask, Leah. I could write a book. Indeed. For four points, you're up to five, Leah. Okay. And you get a chance to pick a category. Try, um, 20th century fiction. For six. A leader of London's Bloomsbury Group. Which English novelist has her name in the... Leah. Virginia Woolf? In the, the, the play, uh, title of a play by Edward Alby, it is Virginia Woolf. with that six-point category, Leah. Complete the title of Carson McCullough's 1951 novelette. That's Leah. 
of the Sad Cafe. He is right over oh. for another 10 points. Four. Ballot of the Sad Cafe. 17 now, Liam. Drawing the post again. Stay with that six-point category. In 1951, which Theodore Dreiser novel reached the screen as John? An American Tragedy has a place in the sun. It was the American Tragedy. You are at 27 points. Okay, John, you're one point away. There's only one place then you can go, and that, of course, is animals. For one point, everyone's in. What is the more common name for the American bison? John. Buffalo. Buffalo is right. The 28 points, $100. And you're going to have a bit of money. We will be right back with the second half of the big showdown with our six brand new categories. Lots more payout points right after this word. Welcome back to the second half of the Big Showdown, and here is, once again, is Jim Pat. Thank you very much. Welcome back to the Big Showdown. I'm sure you couldn't have seen Dan Daniel was all the way on the other side of the stage, and suddenly he remembered he had to say that. He went barreling across. We are looking for the two high-point scorers today to get back to business, who will advance into the final showdown round, and we've got six brand-new categories for our contestants. Let's take a look at them for one point. Fashion for two points. Sporting life for three points. Compound words, words that are made up of two smaller words for four. Occupational names, uh, names that uh, are common occupations for five points. Streets and avenues, and for six points, horror films. Your new payoff point is 35, and it will be worth $100. Here's the one point toss up question. Beginning with C, what's the four letter word for the actors in a play? John, cast. Cast is right, John. You're keeping going. 29, please select your six away. Ha uh ha, -huh. count for six. Please. Okay, it's worth $100 if you hit this payoff point. Lee and Don, Hanson, the buzzers. There are three choices. Robert Redford, Michael Landon, and Troy Donahue. Which one had the title role in the movie I Was a Teenage Woman? Leah. Troy Donahue. Nope. John. Robert Redford. Nope. John. I forgot his name. <laughs> For you, they're not falling in for you. you no, know, the buzzer went off of that. It was Michael Landon. Yeah, okay, know. one point toss up question. <laughs> you believe that, Pa, from, the, uh, from Little House on the Prairie? Which artistic profession do we associate with Anthony Armstrong Jones? Leah. Photography. That's right, for one point, Leah, you're at 18. Please. Photography. Five, did you say? Streets and avenues? Okay. If you are financially well off, what metaphorical? John. Easy Street. What metaphorical street are you said to be on? Easy Street. Yes, that's a 34 point, 35 on the payoff. Another hundred dollar payoff, and this is the one point uh, category, fashion. Listen carefully. Circles, squares, or diamonds, which are found on Argyle socks. John, diamonds. That's right, another payoff point, another hundred dollars for John. <laughs> Let's go to a new payoff point. This one is 43, and it will be worth, says the money dial, twenty-five dollars. Here's the toss-up. In the word three, what's the third letter? John. R. R is right. Oh. Okay. broken the ice and you have control of the board. Take a look and select, please. I'll take Streets and Avenue for five, please. In recognition of his historic flight, which major Missouri city has a thoroughfare named Lindbergh? Yeah. St. Louis. That's right. The spirit of St. Louis, of course, okay. is the name of the play. For five points, you have to 23. Five again. Stay with the Streets and Avenue. Tell me the famous nickname given to that section of Interstate 15 as it runs through the nightclub area of Las Vegas. John. Strip. That's right. Five points. You're up to 40 now, John. Three away from the payoff point. Compound words for three, please. First time in the category. What compound word describes the sport played by Emerson Boozer? John. Football. That's right. A foot and ball. Football. Okay, for three points. One minute, 30 seconds left to play in the game. You know, when time runs out, we'll take the two high-point scores and advance them into the final showdown round. In this round, all new payoff points, once we pass this one, will automatically be worth $100. Let me tell you where you stand in the game. Don at four points, Leah 23, John at 40. But if you get control of the board, anything can still happen. If you're ready, we set the timer at one minute, 30 seconds. Don, you have control of the board. The clock will begin as I begin reading the selection you are about to make. Go ahead. Six. All her films it is, and the block goes up on John. In the 1931 film, which British actor created the role of Frankenstein's monster? John. Forrest Collins. That's right, for six points, please select any category. 
Stay with us. Stay with the block. Listen carefully. John Barrymore, Frederick March, or Spencer Tracy. Which one starred in the 1941 version? Yes, Leah. Frederick March. No, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Don. Spencer Tracy. That's right. Another six points. Please select a new category. Street and Avenue, five. Okay, block stays on John. Which London thoroughfare was the first place of the so-called mod look? John. Carnegie Street. That's right. Another five points. Here's 21. Select, please. Five. Street and Avenue, block on John. Name the country recording star. It was 1964. Did you with the road? John. Roger Miller. Another five points. You're now in second place. Please select. Six. Horror films. Block on John. The first version of a silent, was a silent movie named the horror film about a crazed musician who lives in the sewers of Paris. Leah. Phantom of the Remorse. Nope. John. Phantom of the Opera. That's right. For six points, we go to a Please select again, Dan. Six. Horror films. Block on John. Listen carefully. Helen Hayes. Elsa Lanchester. Or Beatrice Curry. Leah. Lanchester. That's right. Frankenstein's Bride. Or please select any category. Six. Horror film with Block on John. I'm going to name three movie monsters. The Blob, Rodan, The Crawling Eye. Which one had wings? John. Rodan. That's right for six points. Please select again. You are now five off. Five. Streets and avenues Block on John. In which southern city could you stroll along the world famous Peach Street? Yes. Atlanta. That's right. Peach Tree Street. And that's the payoff point. We go to a new one. This one is 50. Here's a toss-up. John back in. Five. on to become the high point score of the day. Okay, you two stand by. Leo, we'd like to thank you for being with us. What a round. I've never seen a better one. Please accept a lovely gift from us and our thanks thank for being you. on the big thank show. John and John, in a moment, you two will be playing final showdown. And John, I can't believe it, it's the top point score of the day. With 43 points, you will begin with control of the board. I've never seen it before. Please join us when we come back for final showdown. Time for final showdown. We have our last two players, John and Don, in an incredible last round. I've got three categories for you. Let's take a look at them. For one point, child rearing. For two points, the one and only. And for three points, the American Revolution. A lot of money at stake. That's appropriate on the 4th of July, isn't it? Okay, a lot of money at stake. Remember, only one of you will go on to roll the dice looking for $10,000 in cash. Don, that could be your second try. John, your first. If you're ready, we begin the final round, as you know, from scratch. Your final payoff point is seven. It will pay $250, and Don is the top point score of the day. You begin with control. You've taken a look. What's your category? Good luck to both of you. Don, please select. I'll go for the one and only, two. What is the only state in the Union whose name begins with the letter R? John. Go down. That's right for two points, and you've gotten back control of the board. Let's come back with the uh, one and only for two points. Okay, same category. Listen to these three choices and tell me the only member of the dog family native to Australia. Don. Bingo. Is right. Holly Salute of the Bingo. <laughs> okay, Don, our champion. Go back now. I'll do it again. One and only. Come yeah. back again. The year was 1649. Give me the name of the one English king who was beheaded. Don. Charles I. That's right, for another two points. <laughs> Up to four. And you are three points away from your second try at the dice table if you want to do it. I want to do it. I'll try three. American Revolution for the first time. Important question. Name one of the two instruments being played in the famous... John. Fife. Is right in the famous painting you call... Oh, Drum is the other one. <laughs> John, you now have control of the board. You're two points away from that trip to the dice table. That's five. Right. Go for it for two. You hit it. You ride to the dice. Name the southern state whose laws are the only ones based John? Louisiana. On the Napoleonic Code, oh, Louisiana. Oh, hey, you roll the dice. Hey, hey. Thank you very much. You will be rolling for $10,000 in just a minute. Boy, we saved the best game to last. This was incredible. Don, a champion, we'd like to thank you for being with us for the game. Thank you. But another $25 today, added on to what you won last time, brings you up to an even $800. And our thanks for being on the big showdown. John, a good
good start on Independence Day. You have already $975, and in just a moment, we'll be at the dice table rolling for $10,000. Willie Headed on our last show. Join us and see. You're certainly bright. You're a quick partner. Do you feel lucky? I can't watch it. Well, that's it first. If you'll follow me down the stairs, kind of stay a little behind me. Okay, <laughs> step over and have to sit under. Time the table, take a look at the dice, John. Of course, you know, we've replaced the sixes with the word show and down. The other numbers are the same. One roll of the dice. If they come up, show and down, I'll pay you $10,000. If you don't hit show down, the point you do roll is important. It could help you to win five grand. Hopefully, we won't even have to talk about it. So <laughs> concentrate, take the dice. Let me get down to this side of the table, John, while I remind you that the two dice are up in this round. Lucky seven. This is the way the game will work. 30 seconds to roll the dice down as many times as you can. If your roll comes up showdown, it'll be $5,000. Now, every time you hit a seven, your payoff point is worth $250 more and five extra seconds of bonus rolling time at the end to go for the big money. Okay? Okay. We set the timer 30 seconds. I'll get these dice out of your way. John, good luck to you. $75 in the game. $5,000 here on the dice. Our total today, $5,975. We'll go out a winner. John, thank you much for being with us. It was a delight. Please enjoy the money, spend it in good health, and think of us as you do it. And right now, as you know, this is the last show for the big showdown. We're going off the air today. And we would like to uh, thank the people who have, who have made all of this possible and made it such a joy. On behalf of Ronnie Greenberg and Don Lip, the creators of Showdown, I would like to thank, first of all, of course, my lovely colleague, Heather Cunningham, who has kept my hands from getting crushed by the dice for so many times. Our whole staff on the, uh, on the cast of the big Showdown, too many names to, to mention, all of them, obviously, but the, the production people, the, the writers, of course, who come up with the phenomenal categories and so many questions, the people that find the contestants for us and do such an excellent job in that and who've made my job so very, very easy over the last six months. And then, and I really mean this, fellas, to the most, the warmest and absolutely the most professional crew I have ever seen in a television studio anywhere. You have made it a joy for us. These are the people, the camera, the staging, the put the set up and take it down, the people up in the control room, a great director, Dick Schneider, and then very specially, a thanks to you for tuning in and joining us, writing in with your comments and your, your support, and we will answer every one of those letters, no matter how long it takes us. Thank you. Have a wonderful 4th of July. I'm Jim Peck. The last time for the big showdown. Bye-bye, everybody. The Justice Rod Rolling Showdown. We will see American Tools to men's and ladies' carry-on club coach. The continental styling designed to go everywhere by land, sea, or air. Strong, lightweight, luggage by American Tools to and... Mocha David Concord Wine. For generations, it's been made with tradition to give you that same great Mocha David taste. Mocha David, the wine that's got tradition.